Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in today. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the amazing books that I read over winter break. All right, let's go. The first book that I read to my students today, our first day back, is the book I want to talk about first. It is Love by Matt De La Pena and Lauren Long. And in this book, Matt and Lauren, look at what love is. And I don't really know how to describe it. It's gorgeous. It's magical. I think Dr. Seuss needs to move off to the side because this, my friends, is the new book to give every single high school graduate. It is amazing. It is distinguished. It will be talked about for all of the awards, and rightfully so. Love is the must-read picture book of 2018. Sorry, Dr. Seuss. I know you have places that you will go, but this book, friends, this is amazing. I read three wonderful graphic novels over winter break. One was All Summer Long. It's by Hope Larson. It is the story of a 13-year-old girl who is kind of like at that point between being a kid and being a young adult, and it's hard for her. She really loved being a kid. She loved uh, this game, this fun index game she played with her uh, friend, a boy that's her friend all the time, and, and he's kind of moving on from that and going away to soccer camp, and she's just really lost and trying to find herself. And I think this book does an amazing job of capturing that late middle school, getting ready to kind of go into high school age. Phenomenal graphic novel. Readers are going to love it. I really loved it. Absolutely amazing. The second graphic novel that I want to talk about is Be Prepared. It's by the same author that wrote the and illustrated the Caldecott Hunter winning book, uh, Leave Me Alone. This book is awesome. It is about a young Russian girl living in the United States, going away to camp for the first time. Her family doesn't have a lot of money. She can't go to camp like a lot of her friends. But there is a Russian camp that she can go to. And she is so excited and so looking forward to it. And it's going to be the greatest thing in the history of her life. And she gets there and it is completely awful. It is completely terrible. Things go awful. I loved this book, not because everything went awful, but because she just got a, this wonderful new perspective on life. And when she stopped expecting camp to be a certain way, she was able to find some really great things about it. Vera did an amazing job with this book. Be Prepared is a graphic novel that I think your kids are really going to love. In a break was New Shoes by Sarah Varen. It is about a donkey who loves to make shoes. Like, what more do I need to say? This book is hilarious. This book is funny. This donkey goes on a mission to, uh, I guess, rescue his friend because his friend makes this um, part of uh, the shoe and he needs to make this really important shoe for um, a manatee, a famous manatee. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's absolutely wild. It's fun. It's a good ride. Uh, kids are going to love this full color graphic novel. New shoes. Check it out. Good Dog is a middle grade novel. The kids are going to read and never forget, and it's going to have a place in their heart forever. Think about the book that you loved most as a kid, the book that is still in your heart years, decades later. This is going to be that book for a lot of kids. Guys, this book is just phenomenal. Uh, it's about Brody, a dog who has passed away and moves from Earth to like the spot between Earth and like the spot that they want to go. I kind of thought it was a spot that they won't they want to go as heaven. Uh, but Brody's here in the middle, ready to transition, or getting ready to transition to the next phase of his afterlife. But he doesn't want to transition because he wants to go back to Earth and find a way to help um, the boy that he belonged to because he feels something in his heart that that boy is in trouble. And, and it's really cool because when they're in this place, they start to like learn, learn human words and be able to talk to each other in a way that they couldn't before. Uh, Brody and the other, all the dogs can. Brody finds a way to go back uh, to Earth, and he's kind of like a ghost there on Earth, and he he wants to help his boy, so he's trying to find his boy, and there's all kinds of crazy obstacles. And It's a book about this, your soul and losing your soul and giving your soul to others. and It's so good. I really liked this book when I started reading it. I'm like, man, this is a really good book. Good job, Dan. I'm liking it. Um, but how I felt about this book at the end was like, this book is one of the books that will always be in my heart. I absolutely just adored it. I didn't think that I'd ever be able to enjoy a book that Dan wrote more than The Honest Truth, but 
I might like this book more. It's just that good. Uh, it comes out March 27th of 2018. If you teach middle grade readers or you enjoy middle grade books, you need to pre-order it. You need to buy it. It's just, it's going to blow your mind. It's that good. A highlight for me of winter break reading was definitely reading The Unicorn Rescue Society by Adam Gidwitz. This book was a completely magical. Adam, uh, is so popular and so famous for his books that he has written in the Tales Dark and Grim series. And he comes down to to some younger middle grade readers here for this book, this series. It's about two kids. They're both pretty new at school and they're on a field trip. One kid's on his very first day of school and they discover a mythical creature and it, they just try to save this mythical creature and all kinds of crazy things happen. It's the first book in a series. Uh, what I loved even more than the amazing story, what I loved even more than the short cliffhanger chapters, what I loved even more than the distinguished writing was reading this book with my daughters. We read this book each night before bed and winter break reading is just a magical time because I got to read them that one more chapter that they kept begging for. And last night, before our first night back at school, we stayed up way too late finishing this book and I'm so glad that we did. They loved it, I loved it. More than anything, it's just another memory that we have in our re reading relationship together, dad and his daughters. Love this book. Adam, thank you so much for writing it. It's amazing. This week I am reading The Truth As Told by Mason Buttle. It is by Leslie Connor. I am super excited. I love Leslie's work. I am 40 pages in and I've already fallen head over heels for Mason. I cannot wait to see what happens. I want to know what you're reading this week. Please leave me a comment below. I'd love to know what books you have read recently or what books you're excited to read in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for tuning in. It means the world to me. Have an awesome day and happy, happy reading.